Hello everybody, my name is Faisal Harthi, working in Petroleum Development Oman. I would like to thank you for this opportunity to present my papers uh, with International Conference on Renewable Energies and Power Quality 2021. The title of my paper is about Power Quality Impacts of PV System Integration on Power Development Oman. Mina Al Fahel Distribution Networks. It's under Sultan Qaboos University's Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. The presentation slides outline consists of six main topics. First, background, then system data, and after that, it's talk about the impact on hum balance, harmonics, and flickers. Finally, summary and conclusion. The importance of solar photovoltaic system has grown significantly with the continuous development of the solar cells industry over the past years as shown in the displayed figure in these slides. However, studying the potential impact of the solar PV systems on the distribution network has recently become a significant topic with a high attention. Since then, Oman has continuously worked towards developing its infrastructures in the energy sector to enable a more sustainable future. Furthermore, the country under the guidance of His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq is focusing on developing a creative and diversified economic based on it the objective established from Oman Vision 2040 under the Environment and Natural Resources Priority. The Oman 2040 Vision that was announced in 13th May 2019 stated the Oman Renewable Energy Strategy under the Environment and Natural Resources Performance Indicator that the totals renewable energy consumption percentage of the total consumptions to be 20% in 2030 and the range of 35 to 39% in 2040. The Petroleum Development Oman MAF Solar Car Park location has a high level of solar radiation throughout the years. The PDO Commission in Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the Mina Al Fahel Solar Car Park projects in January 2018 and December 2020, respectively. The total projects installed capacity is about 8.8 .8 megawatt peak with a total coverage area of 34,600 meters square. The solar MAF Power is used to supply power to PDO offices and building. The plant area of Phase 1 and Phase 2 is divided into five blocks. The Phase 1 is highlighted in blue color and the Phase 2 is highlighted in the red color. The blue color indicated Beit Al Bushra area, Beit Mina Al Fahil's area main, and Beit Mina Al Fahil overflow area. And the Phase 2 indicated Beit Sahil Malah 1 and Beit Sahil Malah 2 and finally is Video Training Center HLD. Mashat Electricity Distribution Company MEDC delivers electricity to all residential, industrial, commercial, agriculture and government area in the Masqat as per the license granted by the Authority of Public Service Regulation APSR. Hence, PDO Mina Al Fahel 33 kV gas insulated substation is connecting to MDC network by Al Fahel 132 over 33 kV substation by 420 MVA 132 over 33 kV power transformer rating links to the 33 kV switch board and 33 kV cable feeder Al Fahel 124. Video MAF 33 KV consisting of three transformers 15 over 20 MVA, 33 over 11 KV power transformer installed in 33 KV bay links to the 11 KV Mina Al Fahel intact GIS station. 
the 415 LV substation and the switchboard electricity supply is taken from 2500 kVA 11 kV over 4333 voltage and auxiliary transformer which are taps from the 11 kV RM used as shown in the figures. The main objectives of the paper is to study the impact of grid-connected solar PV system voltage unbalance, flickers, and harmonics. The measurement of unbalance, flickers, and harmonics at PDO solar PV system using power network analyzer, which is installed in the existing solar PV systems for power quality measurement. The voltage balance is the three phase voltage and currents have the same amplitude and are phase shift by 120 degree with respect to each other. Unbalanced condition occurs if either or both of these conditions are not met. Unbalance could cause by source structural asymmetry or load imbalance. Unbalance cause negative impacts on equipment such as machines, variable speed drives, lines, transformers, and system restorations. Unbalance can be mitigated by addressing its source or adding unbalance mitigation device like unified power flow controller, UPFC, or compensator. These slides present the unbalanced quantification indices. The National Electrical Manufacturer Association EMA used the line voltage unbalance rate to calculate the unbalance as the ratio between the maximum voltage deviation from the average line voltage magnitudes to the average line voltage magnitudes. The Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering IEEE used the same unbalance uh, description with the slight change as the IEEE applies phase voltage in state of line to line voltages. The most common definition of unbalanced voltage is the voltage unbalance factor under the International Electro Electrical Commission's IEC, which is known as the voltage components relations of the negative sequence to the positive sequence. A mine grid and distribution code used voltage and balance factors and uh, should <coughs> remain below 1% unless the abnormal condition prevail. The result of unbalanced measurement shows that the solar PV system installation had a minor impact on the voltage and balance as system consists of three phase inverter. The voltage and balance was sustained within the standard limits of 1% with and without the solar PV system. The voltage and balance variation is due to the demand variation. Harmonics levels refer to the quality of sensorial waveform for both current and voltage emitted by nonlinear loads, transformers, and usage of power electronic device. Total harmonic distortion is used to quantify harmonic distortion level. The 5% voltage total harmonics limits is according to the IEEE 519-2014, while 2% for the distribution level is the limit of total harmonic distortion according to Oman grids and distribution code. Harmonic measurement results conclude that the voltage total harmonic distortion level is following the daily load profile. Result shows no violation in the voltage total harmonic distortion limit during the early and late hours of the inverter operation high level of current total harmonic distortion were observed this is due to the fundamental current being small during these time flicker is known as the impression of understeadiness of visual sensation induced by a light stimulus whose luminous or spectrum fluctuate with the time. Flicker impacts unpleasant feeling like work efficacy, health problem, nausea or headache, epilepsy seizures, affect sensitive electronic device. Two indices are used to 
assess the flicker severity. PST is the short term flicker severity index evaluated over a short period of 10 minutes, and PLT is the long term flicker severity index evaluate over a long period it's calculated for two hours of the observation period using 12 successive 10 minutes pst values a mind distribution codes refer to iec 6 6 37 indicative value for the planning levels of flickers having uh, 0.9 limits for PST and 0.7 limits for PLT. The fast fluctuation in the solar radiation because of cloud movements might result in considerable variation of the solar PV output power that produce voltage variation at the PV point of common coupling. Flicker measurement result shows that PST and PLT level were within the limit except for few incidences. Infrequent spikes were found during a daytime for both partially and cloudy day as well as without solar PV generation period. The flicker level is due to the different reasons including network operation, load variation, and solar PV system output variations. Finally, summary and conclusion. The main objective of this work is to study the impact of PDMF grid connected solar PV system on distribution system, voltage and balance harmonies, and flicker through field measurements. The field measurement revealed that the unbalance and harmonic distortion levels are within the limits, however, Flicker distortion level required further attention as infrequent spikes were recorded. In addition to the passing clouds that result in solar PV system output variation, the flicker level is affected by network operation and load variation. Worth to mention that the low impacts of the solar PV system on, on PDO MAF industrial distribution network is partially attributed to the high short circuit level in the system. Thank you. This is the end of the presentation slides.